but I mean, they knew that uh, you know he had gone to the Leafs and didn't get a chance. And we, I don't think we tried to mention it, but they all knew about it. So they did, a, I thought, a great job of of blocking shots. Like there was one point in the second period. Thank you. That uh, they had, you know, they had six shots, and three of them were on the power play. So I mean, uh, you knew we were doing something well. You had a three-one shot uh, power play deficit. Four-one. Yeah. Oh, three-one yeah, at, yeah, at the time. Yeah. Pretty hard mm. to do. Um, the, uh, you know, the, why you changed lines tonight? Was it was it just to get the matchup against Kadri or? No, no. You know what? Uh, I just thought. Watching, I thought Charlie would be Matt Collins playing a lot better now. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought giving him an offensive guy to go along with maybe a defensive checker would would fit well. And I thought uh, then throwing Mitchie up on the right side, who's a defensive guy, would would work there. I don't know. I just get these thoughts in my head and think they'll fit and think they'll work and and run with it for a while. Yes. Still quite the statement for Alex to make since he knows now that kind of on his shoulders for a bit to shut out a team and still says something about him. And yeah, no, no, he played great. I mean, he he came to the fore and I mean, they had some uh, a lot of chances in the third period, I thought, and, and <clears throat> whether they were uh, snake bitten because they haven't scored a lot of goals lately either it, or Alex was there, he made the save. You got thoughts in your head and uh, the last couple of games you've had guys sit down and they've come back the next game and and immediately scored. Uh, it must be nice to see him bounce back. Yeah, no, it's it's great. That's one of the things about this team. It, it's got really good character, and they really care. And so, when they sit them down, I have a little talk with them, and um, it's it's usually a positive situation. But the character comes through, and and they play, and they and they play a lot, you know, better. How much, how much did you need to play the fourth line the way that things were going offensively the first two periods? Yeah, I thought the fourth line, every time they got on, were uh, our offensive uh, line. You know, they had the, the chances. And, and, you know, sometimes you're playing a, line, a team like Toronto's got three really good balanced lines that are top nine, and, and they're offsetting our nine, and, and our fourth line played better than their fourth line, and that's when it, what it comes down to. Uh, second goal, shots. is that just a, a textbook cycle worked by that line? Yeah, yeah. Granny getting in the right position, and Eric making a great play, and um, that's how that happened. It was something that we really needed because, you know, I mean, you know, we're going to get another penalty for doing nothing. Forty-two <laughs> shots blocked or missed the net. I mean, is that the type of defending you were hoping to see in front of Alex, just clogging it up and taking away looks? Yeah, yeah. And the the reason they were they missed the net because we were in the lanes, yeah. you know, and and the ones that didn't is, is you know, they got hit. One four in a row, six to seven. Just how nice is it to see it kind of come together? You know, it, it's kind of touch and go for a while. Early yeah, game. well, it was never it was touch and go. It was never like we were four games under 500 or anything. We just weren't 10 games over 500 for right off the bat. So um, they get a little nervous in Minnesota when that happens. So, I mean, I think we're playing good. I mean, despite still missing some very key ing ingredients. And, uh, but that's when you can band together like that, that's what makes it positive. And we're starting to have success at home and making it difficult for other teams to come in this building. And, and that's, uh, that's good. Is there a catalyst you can pinpoint from last week that you thought maybe could have sparked a little role like this? Um, you know, I just not not a, an individual catalyst, but I mean, as as a team, I thought we um, we played really good in Anaheim. I mean, actually, we played really good for two periods in Los Angeles, and uh, last eight minutes we didn't play very well. But uh, that being said, we thought we deserved to win in regulation there. We thought we deserved to win in regulation in San Jose, and. You know, success gets you confidence and and belief that you can win all the time. And I think if you look at all of our games, except for the Winnipeg game, every game has been close. So I mean, it's not like it's an uncommon thing after 31 games to be to be in a close game. Do you, do you think uh, with Spurgeon close to coming back that something's probably going to have to give with the blue line here with AD and? Got to figure. Yeah. I don't know what it is yet, but. I mean, it's it's uh, difficult when you know we're, they're all playing pretty good, and I mean our goals against is is you know other than that seven two game and the five two game has been really good in the last month and a half. So it's uh, but that's <coughs> that's what you have depth for, 
and that's when you have a good minor league team and you got guys that can come up and I've been involved in that and that makes you successful because you're all going to run into in injuries and if you got guys that can come up and compete and do the job then that's really good.